Hello and welcome to Master Gardening. I'm your host, Bud Kwok, and today we're in the studio. Normally we're out in the yard or garden, digging in the dirt, pulling weeds, but today we have a very, very special guest. And we're going to talk about the Garden Club of Kentucky, the National Garden Club, and gardening schools. Did you know we had gardening schools in Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, all over the country? So stay tuned. I'll be right back. <music> I mentioned we have a special guest here today, and it's Becky Oliver from Cadiz, Kentucky, right? That's correct. Kate's, right, that's how you pronounce it, mm -hmm. not Cadiz? Yeah, not Cadiz. <laughs> Over by the lake. And she's a representative for the Garden Club of Kentucky today. Uh, she's representing Joe Jean Scott also. And we're gonna talk about garden consultants. Are you a, a garden consultant chairman or just committee member or what's I'm, the, I am official the title? I am the president of the gardening consultants for the state of Kentucky. Oh my gosh, the president. Yes. Now Becky has, ha, has been almost every single officer in the Garden Club of Kentucky. She was second vice president, first vice president, parliamentarian, almost every officer except for secretary and treasurer. treasurer okay. Mm -hmm. And she's also been on every committee. You've been at the Garden Club a long time. Every committee almost, and she's been chairman of most of them. And during the Second World War, she was president of the Garden Club of Kentucky. Right? Thank you, bud. <laughs> Second World War? Yes, oh, somewhere oh, in that Korean. time frame. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about today, the Garden Consultant uh, and its relationship to the Garden Club of Kentucky and the National Garden Club. The Garden Club of Kentucky, there's a lot of our viewers, I suppose, uh, that don't, didn't even know we had a Garden Club of Kentucky. So, can you tell me a little bit about that? As the, the, the members, or how is it made up, what, the, what they do? The members of the Garden Club of Kentucky are federated garden clubs throughout the communities throughout the state. Uh, to be federated, then you, have, you are also in with the Garden Club of Kentucky, and then you are a member of the National Garden Club, which goes not all over the United States, but over South America. And Canada, so and it is a probably international. a couple hundred clubs it's in the Garden Club of Kentucky or yeah. across oh, yes. the state. Yes, I know I'm in one Laurel Oak Garden Laurel Club in Mayfield yes. that, are, that is, and I know in Paducah, Kentucky, there's several. There's a, yeah, and then, a bunch, then yeah. I'm in from the one in Cadiz, which is the Gateway Garden Club, which gateway is the Garden gateway Club. to the lakes. <laughs> but anyway, that's yes, important. Yeah. If you like gardening and you like the many aspects of gardening then you need to be in a garden club and it's nicer to be in a federated garden club because there are certain things that they require uh, that you learn and so it makes it more so than just the little old ladies getting together for tea and cookies. And I'm a little old lady. Or, or little old <laughs> men. Little old men. Or little old men getting... <laughs> Looking so, for little old ladies. So, so there are things that are required or uh, part of their programming that you learn more than just beating in on one aspect of gardening. And garden clubs across the state of Kentucky, across the United States and even the world, they're responsible for a lot of, you know, you go to the park or the, the city hall and you see all these little flower beds and stuff, many times those are big, do that, big. That is the garden, that are, the local garden clubs are doing a tremendous amount of that work. And even in our community, we have young people coming in and helping us because most of us are old dollies. <laughs> so, old. <laughs> but uh, they, they come in and help us and then we teach the young people about gardening and about with the hands on of them helping with the, the different garden. And being federated and being belonging to the Garden Club of Kentucky has lots of benefits. And then vice, and also yes. the Garden Club of Kentucky along with all the state clubs, there's 50 state clubs, yes. believe it, yes, there's a, there's a state club in every state in the United States, and then we have a number of international clubs, mostly in Latin America, South America, and Canada. Right. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if we have any over, overseas in Europe or not. I'm not aware of those. I'm not, I'm not aware of those either. That would really be hard to make the meetings. <laughs> But the only difference uh, in order to be federated is you, of course, you have to do a few things. You have to uh, pay dues, which right. the dues are so small, you know. Um, 
I don't know what it is about Garden Club ladies, but if you raise the dues 10 cents, there's a re revolt, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's then, very true. And then they, the Garden Club of Kentucky has to pay a little bit of dues to the, the National Garden Club, awesome. so that all comes out of, and I know the Garden Club I, I'm in, the dues are $20 a year. <laughs> But, but if you're a member of the Federated Garden Club of Kentucky, then you receive the, the, the Garden Club Bulletin, which is what this is. You receive it four times a, a year, and in, it tells what the different garden clubs are doing throughout the state. It's very informative, and it keeps up, you keep up with the new things that are going on and what you can do in your club gives you ideas for programs and ideas for other things. So, uh, and then you, if you're a member of the National Garden Club, you can also get the National Garden uh, magazine and it comes four times a year. I remember when especially that one was not very good reading but now it really it's is. Excellent. They really excellent. have some great articles in there and like you said every every district uh, and there's nine five, five. five districts in five. Kentucky it's yes. divided up. Each district gets to talk about all the things that the garden clubs are doing. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, and it's very interesting. I used to most of the time used to be when you got it you just threw it in the trash can, but now you don't do that. I don't do that. A lot of good information in there. Excellent information. Well, let's talk about the National Garden Club then. Well, we, we're bypassing the, the regions. There's eight regions across the United States, and Kentucky's in the... South Atlantic region. Yeah, and it, the, the, the states that are in that are... South Carolina. South, North and South Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky. Yeah, I don't know how Kentucky got in put, put in with those. Well, then all these these eight regions belong to, to the, the, the National Garden Club. So if you're a member of the local club, then you're a member of one of the districts. There are five districts in the state. And then you're a member of the, the State Garden Club. And the State Garden Club is a member of the South Atlantic region. And the South Atlantic region is a member of the National. So it, you can work with different people in different aspects uh, in your region. And the fun part about going to the state meetings or the South Atlantic regional meetings is learning what the person sitting next to you has to say about gardening. And you can truly learn more from your neighbor at, at the dinner meal than you can from some <laughs> of the speakers because they, they are hands-on people wanting to garden. and want. If anyone thought I joined Garden Club, to be the president of the Garden Club of Kentucky or to be their bylaws or parliamentarian. They're wrong. I joined Garden Club so I could dig in the dirt and learn how to plant a flower, learn what, how it grows and how to make it do its best. So mm -hmm. that's what Garden Club is basically all about. Now there are different yeah. that we are involved with environmental as well as flower arranging and that sort of thing. But the gardening study courses and the gardening consultants are involved with how to grow and how to make it do its best. Yeah, there's all different kind of gardeners. I remember when, yes. I, when I joined the, my garden club, they said, are you a dirt gardener? Yes. And I guess they meant, do I plant stuff, mm -hmm. I guess. That's <laughs> that a was. dirt gardener, yeah. yes. And there's a number of people that are mainly in the flower shows or stuff like that, that like you said, design. But there's all kinds and you don't have to be an expert to be in a garden club. No. That's, that's why you're in a garden club because you're probably not an expert. You're gonna learn a lot of stuff. Okay, so the National Garden Club, one of their things they do is that they have these scholarships. They yes. have big scholarships. One of the scholarships. And yes, and uh, and they do all kind of things. We don't have time today. To well, talk the Garden about all Club of things, Kentucky also has scholarships yes. available. Mm -hmm. Now they're not as fabulous as the National, but they are. You know, scholarship mm -hmm. is scholarship. And you have awards. Yes. Uh, if you're doing things in the, in the in your uh, neighborhood and your town, you can apply for awards and get exactly. money and yes. uh, ribbons and. Uh, and one thing that we have that I would like for everybody to be aware of is the Blue Star markers. Yes. For the veterans, uh, and you will see them on the highways. I think Highway 68 is is designated as a Blue Star. Uh, highway, but that is to recognize your veterans and those that have served uh, military, whatever it is. So when you see a blue star marker on the highway, that is the Garden Club, the National Garden Club's way of saying thank you. 
and recognizing our veterans. And they're beautiful. They're yes. really professional. Big, huge plaques. I guess it's bronze, maybe. I don't yes. know. And uh, the Mayfield Club I was talking to you about that I belong to, they're getting two of those. Excellent. Two of those Excellent. this spring. Yeah, that's really something. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of people getting clubs getting two at the same time. Well, that's that's y'all's club. That's, <laughs> that's how y'all that's keep, how y'all do things. I keep plugging that. You need to notice that. <laughs> Okay, well, we're here to talk about mainly the, the, the schools, and I'm Gardens. sure our, our listeners are, and, what, and uh, viewers are interested in that. I thought there were three uh, there consultant are, classes, or no, classes. In a, in a series of gardening study schools, there are four. And in those four, you learn each of the schools is required to cover certain topics. And so if you take all four schools, you have a full knowledge of gardening studies and gardening consultantness. Then if you take, and there's about eight hours of study that is tested on in each one of the courses. If you take the test and pass, ta-da, and they're open book tests now. They used to not be, but they are open book tests now. And if you take the test and pass all four, then you can be a gardening consultant then the gardening consultants are required to refresh every five years. Now, if you can't uh, take the full four, four in a series, the four courses in the series, then you have seven years to uh, take the, the courses that you've missed, and then you can apply for being a gardening consultant. And once a garden consultant, and you're always a garden consultant as long as you refresh. As long as you refresh. And the refresh is not as bad as the, the hard you, as the, <laughs> not hard as the You classes. do not have to take the test. You, Oops. you do have to take the course. Yeah. And it's nice, and, and they're fun to take, especially if you're not taking the test, because you, you're learning, and you don't have to take the test if you just want to take the course and not take the test be and not smarter. become a gardening consultant. Yeah. You, can, you can just learn from them and, and the speakers for the gardening study courses are outstanding people that study and do what they are teaching you and they are so enthusiastic about their topics that they want you to learn everything that they know. Dr. Martin Stone from Bowling Green is an example. He uh, teaches at Western and his four-hour study courses are a condensed version of his class. <laughs> so you get the, yes, you get it all in four hours, and uh, it's just amazing what you yeah. can learn from some of these speakers. And on that point, the, what, whoever is teaching a gardening study course, they have to be approved by National Garden Club. That they just don't pull somebody off the street and say, well, you teach this. They have to be approved by National Garden Club. What they teach has to be approved by National Garden Club, and their tests have to be approved by National Garden Club. So it's, sometimes it's hard to find the people to qualify. It is. It's the it top-notch yes. people. Yes. Uh, yeah. like the very best. The very professor best. at Western, you yes. can't get any better than that, Harley. That's exactly uh, true. Yeah. And, and, and most of them are PhDs in their, uh, that are teaching. Then part of it also uh, is that you take tours. Uh, some of the tours are on are part of the test, and some of them are not. The Bernheim up around Louisville, we toured that. And then Baker Arboretum in Bowling Green is also one of the ones that we have toured. But you, you get to walk through these beautiful parks and these beautiful arboretums, and there's somebody telling you what is growing and why it's growing and why it's doing and how old it is and it's not like oh, I'm gonna have a afternoon walk you're having an afternoon walk learning a tremendous amount of information about the plants around you now I'm a master gardener okay. but I'm I've got time now yes. since I supposedly retired that I'm gonna start I'm gonna take these these uh, four four classes, and that this it's, this is good for me because now I, I can know what I can expect. But master gardening class, you know, they, they, master gardeners are here. I've always been told that the garden consultants just a little bit above the master gardening gardeners. Uh, it doesn't have maybe as pretty a name as master gardeners, but uh, when they take people like me that are master gardeners take that class, what what do they usually? What do they, I have known people that have taken both the. National Gardener, um, Master Gardener, and the Gardening Consultant courses. 
that the ones that have taken both said that the gardening consultants courses were a little deeper, a little more informative, uh, and a little harder. So uh, get your thinking cap on when you get to But now you got the open book. Yes. But, th but I'll tell you what, I've had open book tests before in, in, in uh, college, and usually they do that because it's still going to be pretty tough finding the answers. And you need to unless take you it. already knew it and studied. And take excellent course, excellent notes as they're talking and, and they show slides and they give you the information that you need to know, but you've to have in the time frame, you need to be able to take notes and to comprehend what they're trying to tell you. And you meet new people, new gardeners yes. that have the same interests as you all over the state, come from all over the state into one area. Yeah. So it's kind of neat to talk about, uh, this is my problem, or you get funguses like I got funguses. And you have the opportunity to ask the professors that's right, come with your questions. Come with your questions <laughs> as well, because if yeah. they're covering that, that topic, then they want to answer questions, because they're not the only ones. You're not the only one that has that problem, probably. Oh yeah, and it's better So they clarify what the situation is and, and give you more information. And I've done a lot of seminars in my work, and the best thing to do is not to just preach to the crowd and tell them things they don't care about, but uh, if you, I always say, any questions, let's answer mm -hmm. the questions, and guy, they, they do that, exactly. and you, you, you concentrate on what they really want to hear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, so if, let's, let's walk through a class. Say, uh, say I wanted to be, take a class. Uh, is it two, I think it's two days? Two days, yes. Two days. Okay, and usually it's within driving distance of most people in the state. It can They be. try to get a local close enough that you can drive if you had to or spend a night and have get to park. know your friends better. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because you're going to make new friends. Yes. The people you sit with and talk with and eat lunch with and mm -hmm. you have common interests so you're going to make some new friends when you go. Let, let me just run through the ones that the uh, the topics, a few topics here so that they will know okay. uh, what, uh, what to expect. Uh, this one was has already passed but the topics were soils, basic botany, uh, houseplant basics, techniques for growing outdoor flowers, and plant propagation, and a propagation workshop. Then there is uh, new plant development and evaluation, uh, outdoor container gardeners, gardenings, uh, factors that influence plant growth, factors, uh, and teach a teaching tour of the Baker Arboretum. So those, the the ones I called on last ha, are, are still coming up, it's course three, but they give a wide variety of different topics, but all of them are interesting to the, the gardener that like, the dirt gardener, the one that likes to play in the soil and learn what's going on and how to grow. Now that was, you read that off of that, uh, of, that's just, that was Garden Study Course 3? Course 3, the well, last I read was Course 3. Four, four three. times that many topics yes. that you're going to go through. Yes. So that's, that's really a lot, a lot of topics. And the, each day, they're about four hours each day of tested material. And then they fill in with other interesting things. It may be a tour, it may be just uh, house plants or something in, uh, that's not going to be tested on. It's still very interesting, but it's not uh, in the course Kinda for testing. On. So you go for one day and you, t you have about, f it's broke down into morning and afternoon probably yes. and a lunch period in there. Yes. And th then the next day it's the same thing so with, the, with the test at the end? No, well, it used to be. Uh, nowadays, now they have the information, the, the classes and then the test in the afternoon. And then the next day, the classes, and those are tested that afternoon. So you have two tests. Have so you two don't tests. Don't forget the yes. to forget but on, but on, just on, on, on two topics. Yeah. Instead of the, having to study all four topics and having the big test at the end. Okay. Now that's how I took it. I had, I had to learn, and then I stayed the third day to take the test. But now yeah. you don't. Now they have cut it down to two days. Okay, that's good. So you don't have to stay that third uh, day or yeah. go back the third day. Because it, one one class may be in far western Kentucky and another one may be a little bit farther. Well, usually east a series is at one set place. All three be there. All, all four, all, all four, four courses yeah. are at the same place, uh, and then, and if you miss some of that course material, then you can go somewhere else. And then they have refreshers a lot of times. Uh, 
connected with the state meetings. Mm -hmm. So if you need to refresh, a lot of times you can do that at a state, when you're, when you're a member of the Garden Club, you can go to the state meeting and, and refresh so that every five years is not as much of a problem as it And this is be. really a national program. Yes, it's a national program. So we live, I live more than you live, right in the middle of about five states. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it may be a, a garden study course three in Kentucky, and I'm lucky enough that just north of me in Illinois, there may be one. Yes. So you don't have to stay in the state. You can, right, you, can, you can go to, you, well, a lady at the last one we, I went to was from Tennessee. Yeah. So she came from Tennessee up to Bowling Green to get the course. And that's sure. real convenient because yes. all the states are doing it. Yes, all and, the states are doing it. You can pick one that's really close exactly. by. We'll get, change subjects just a little bit. Okay. How did you get involved in, in this? Is there a little background or not? Did you, uh, I know you're with Joe Jean and I don't know what Joe Jean's title is. You're the president. So. I'm the president, but Joe Jean, ha jo Joe Jean has been, she is in charge of getting the professors and teachers for the, the course series that is in Bowling Green now. Uh -huh. uh, and she's been a gardening consultant for a long time. Uh, I received mine in, I'm gonna tell how old I am. I received <laughs> mine in 1977. Holy, I was born in, no. I, I understand that, but <laughs> I understand that. But I, the reason I got into Garden Club was for, for what gardening studies teach. And, really? and uh, so when it was, available at Barclay Lodge uh, in 77. We, I, I took the courses and have refreshed since then. Okay, so, so you get a little bit backwards and most of the people get in the end and they find out about garden consultants and they go that direction. You, you were interested from the get-go it get looks go, like. Yes, and also a lot of people that go to the study courses, get, that's how they get interested in being in garden club. Yes. Yeah. Because they see that that's readily available and they're interested in what they're teaching. And it's not just women. It's no, men absolutely and, not. Yeah, it's yeah. A lot Even of, though there's a majority yes. is women. Right. Uh, uh, back in the old days, it was just women. <laughs> well, that's true, but yeah. that's not the case anymore. Yeah. So, and I think at one time, and maybe still, the, na the gardening consultants uh, person that approves, his committee that approves is a gentleman. So it, it's a... Uh, it's a, we have expanded so that both men and women and anyone that's yeah. interested. I mm -hmm. came this close to being president of the Garden Club of Kentucky. You didn't, yes, I know. And yes, but I was still working and you mm -hmm. can, it's hard to be president of the Garden Club of Kentucky and it work is. full time. It is. Especially living way in the western yes. tip, which is another there disadvantage. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, you live it in is. the Golden Triangle, it makes it a lot better. It does make it easier. Well, let's talk about how, there may be some people I said, well, how will I join a garden club? How will I get, join a garden club? I okay. wonder who I can contact and is it on the, Google, can I Google it or? If you are interested in gardening and garden clubs, you could probably ask a local gardening supplier if there's a, is there is a local garden club or a federated garden club. Uh, then you can Google Garden Club of Kentucky and see if there is a local someone in your area, uh, however you want to do it. But I'm sure that that information would be readily available. Chamber of Commerce, you. maybe? Yes, I don't know. Chamber of Commerce. City Hall, ask yes. some people. Because almost everybody knows who the garden clubs, unless you're, right. if you're moving into a town and don't know. But uh, if you're living in a town and there's garden clubs in your town, you probably already know that. But That's true. And most of them uh, used to be uh, hard to get in a garden club, but not anymore. Not anymore. If you want to be in a garden club, you can get in a garden club nowadays. Okay. And if you see a bunch of people out working in, in a Blue Star Garden like <laughs> they do at Cadiz, or wherever, if you see them, some people out working in, the, in a flower garden that's part city owned or what have you, you might stop and ask and see if they are garden club members. And they probably are. Before we go any farther, I know there's a garden study course coming up locally. Now this, this we don't wanna, it, it, it's gonna be, this is 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, garden study course that's coming up? It is in Bowling Green. It will be at the Baker Arboretum. Uh, if you are interested, you can, and the, the dates on it are Tuesday, March the 12th, and Wednesday, March the 13th. 
at the Warren Association of Baptist Building in, on the Scottsville Road in Bowling Green. And if you are interested in uh, attending, then you can ma mail or check with Martha Morgan at 1909 Harvey Avenue, Bowling Green, or you can check with me and I can give you some information or any of the local garden club members uh, here that would be interested, they would, they would have the information readily available. The website. But website. So if they want to get a hold of you, they call your cell phone number? They can call me at 270-522-3150, or they can write me at 340 Raymond, R-A-M-O-N, Oliver Road, Cadiz, Kentucky. Okay, say that once more, because they got the, now they got their pencil in their hand. I'll uh, yes. I'll tell them, say it again. My address is Becky Oliver, 340 Raymond, R-A-M-O-N, Oliver Road, Cadiz, Kentucky. Or they can call me at 5270-522-3150. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> and that's coming up this this This, this March. This yes, March. this March. 2019, because of this. And this the deadline on it, and, and the cost of it is $65. And... Uh, Registration deadline is March 5th. But the topics, again, are new plant development and evaluation by Dr. D uh, Wynn Dunwell, outdoor container gardens uh, by Rickman Freeman, and then factors that influence plant growth by Dr. Martin Stone, and then the teaching tour of the Baker Arboretum by Dr. Stone I as love well. when when Wynn Dunwell. Yes. Uh, okay, well, thank you for coming in today. Becky, we're out of time. Okay. And I want to thank all of our audience and viewer, viewers. Uh, this is Master Gardening. I'm your host, Bud Kwok. Until next time, good gardening. <laughs>